All right, so it's bye week time, you know, to give our uh, players an opportunity to get away, clear their minds, get away from football a little bit. Um, we will practice tomorrow, uh, get out on the grass if we can, and, and have a good spirited practice before they get out of here, and then um, we'll get these guys away. And my biggest message to our players is when they do go away, let's, let's be a pro. You know, we need every guy that leaves here to show back up here. You know, now is the time when things start to pop up you know, across the league, and uh, I want to be, I want our players to be mindful of that and make sure where they are and how they conduct themselves and um, um, handle their business the right way when they're away from here, because yeah, that's very important as well, because we need everybody to make it back here and be back the following Monday ready to, to practice and get ready for the Cincinnati Bengals. So um, yesterday's performance um, obviously wasn't what we wanted um, for, for our football team, for our organization, for our fans. Um, and uh, we own it, and uh, we've got to continue to get better as a football team. Uh, but there has been a, a, some things that, that I did see um, that players are improving in some areas. You know, just uh, watching Seth DeVal make some plays. Danny Shelton has really stepped his game up. You know, Kirchke, as I mentioned, Kirko, as I mentioned yesterday, has, has done a really good job. And, um, you know, Jamie Collins and – you know, again, our young secondary players, you know, we have a lot of young players that are starting to emerge a little bit and, and kind of that's um, what it's been kind of all year. A lot of these guys have played and they're getting better. But um, we all understand the goal is to win a football game and to win games. So we haven't hit that mark yet, but we got four more opportunities to do it and uh, we'll work hard um, to, to, to make that happen. With Greco on the IR, what's, what's the severity of John's injury? Um, you know, it's, it's another one of those foot sprains, but how severe it is, don't know that yet. We'll know more about it, but it is uh, definitely a foot sprain. Don't know that. You know, uh, we'll know more about that as we go. What does it mean? Your offensive line had some issues before this. Now what do you do? <laughs> we, uh, we put somebody else in there and play them, you know. Uh, we'll put the next man. You know, this next man up. You know, we've been through this already, so... Uh, we'll reshuffle again, and we'll stick somebody over there at right guard, and uh, on we go. He has the possibility to be that guy. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. I think it's, um, it's it, Mary Kay is like that, but I don't think it's as severe as what uh, Batonio's was. You know, it's it's really a freak thing. You know, it just it's blocking, and here it goes. You know, so it's uh, these things happen. Did you um, did RG three ever have that final clearance on the? No, hasn't hasn't got that yet, but I think we're in the process of getting that done. And with Cody coming back clear, do you know what you're going to do um, coming off the bye as far as your starter? Right, I think it's too early. You know, let me you know sort through and make sure everybody see who's totally healthy, and then um, we'll make a decision and go from there. Kind of like to see, um, you know, a full complement of, of quarterbacks out there. Tonight. Oh boy, that'd be fun. <laughs> Be the first time in a long time, you know. But uh, no, I mean, again, they all have a chance to be out there, and I hope that is the case, you know. Uh, but um, we'll know more, you know. I think once we get back that following Monday, exactly where we are. Q, was uh, something wrong with Barner just today at all? It seemed like there was a period of the game where he wasn't in there. Uh, yeah, he had a little uh, a tweak of the knee, you know. It happened during the game. And so uh, I wanted to make sure that we didn't overwork him, you know. So we kind of, kind of rotated him a little bit, you know, trying to make sure we looked out for his health. So it wasn't performance related. No. Oh no. No, not at all. No, sir. I know Cody was clear. Is there any hesitancy to play him again because he had two concussions in such a short time? You know, as you, as you mentioned, I'm going to, again, we're going to talk to our medical staff and, and make sure we do that right. As I said a while back, I think it's important that we do the right thing for him because it has been two concussions. So uh, we'll, we'll work through that as well. So last, last week, you, you know, there, there was a discussion about prior on the sideline. And again, yesterday, there were a couple instances that showed up on camera during the game, I guess, of him being passionate and emotional. Um, yeah, were you aware of him? I know your back was probably turned to him. Yeah, I didn't see it, you know. And normally I hear about it. I normally hear about it on a Monday, but I, I didn't hear about it today. So it might not have been as over the top as the ones in the past. So hopefully he 
um, tempered it a little bit. But uh, you, you guys all know he's a very passionate player, likes to win, wants to win. I think it comes from a good place, but we just want to make sure it doesn't spill over into performance or anything that would ever hurt our football team. Uh, it wasn't something needed to be addressed? This no, time. not that I know of, Tony. No one, like I said, normally when I, I normally hear about it and I would have already addressed it. I have not heard about that. I don't know if you're the right person to ask this or not, but you're here. Okay. So I'll ask you. Uh, Robert's girlfriend put something out that she got robbed. Oh, my Lord. Her car, money got stolen. My question is, he repeated it, which only, you know, sent word to more people. Does that disappoint you at all that he would do that? Let me say this. We have the right people working on this situation, and we'll get to the bottom of it. And, um, you know, our, our business is our business here, and, and that's all I'm going to say about it. You know, we like to keep things in-house if we can. came with the reputation of liking, liking to use different formations and pre-snap motions and moving guys around and all that type of stuff. I saw a couple of those yesterday. Is the design of that to, obviously it's to confuse the defense, but does that need to happen a little quicker? Because it, it just seemed like the defense still had plenty of time to set and adjust to whatever mm -hmm. you were doing. Is that operation supposed to go faster? Than totally agree. It? it could definitely go faster. Yeah, there, there's a lot of things we can do faster and better, um, you know, and I think uh, we will over these next four weeks. You know, there are some things that, like I said, when you self, start self-scouting yourself and looking, you can see some things that, that you need to improve at. And again, um, but I think the effect of it, um, we got what we wanted. You know, you make a defense line up and cover it, and then they have to check and then recheck again. And normally sometimes people don't get the check. So um, it's an advantage for us. I'm not expecting to make an announcement. When, but when do you think you will know who your starting quarterback will be? Oh, I don't. I mean, I get, I get some bye time too, right? So I'm going to take it. So I don't know. I mean, sometime next week, I'm sure. I mean, once I know more about everything um, that's going on with our quarterbacks. I was just going to ask you that. Will this be a good chance for you to kind of decompress a little bit? I know you probably won't take very much time off. But right. for you and your staff to kind of step away and then – Get back you know, at it hard for the last four games. Right. As I said yesterday, I honestly, I don't know how to do it. You know, I, I need to teach myself how to do it. Uh, I know my kids would like for me to do it. But uh, I just think what's important is uh, we just keep searching. I think um, I owe our fan base and our organization, these players, an opportunity to, to, to win a game, you know, to win. And uh, with the next one coming up is Cincinnati. So uh, we're going to do whatever we think it takes to, to get ourselves uh, in that W column. You know, so we got a lot of work to do. You know, we got to find out more about ourselves, but also um, what we think is going to help us when we get ready to play Cincinnati. So uh, we'll take a little time, you know, but the, the staff knows that there's work to be done too. Did, um, did Johnson have Terrell Pryor open on that halfback pass? <laughs> <laughs> the one that went the other way? <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, there was a pass and two hands on the top of the head. I just remember that. I mean, Duke would tell you, my guy, he's over for one, so uh, he might not get a chance to throw it ever again. Yeah, he, we had a chance at it. It didn't look like it looked in practice. I can promise you guys that. Is that you to play, or is that something you always have? Oh, no, I've always had those. I mean, I haven't even opened a bag of tricks yet. We haven't. We, I keep saying we haven't really played offensive football the way I like to play, so... Um, I think our guys are, they know it, and um, I think they're looking for the day we can unleash some of the things that we like to do. Not that we're not trying to, anybody think we're holding this magical offense in a bag or something. We're not, because if we did, we would unleash it. But there's a lot of things that we do like to do as an offensive football team that we haven't um, even scratched the surface at. So we just got to keep going and, and keep growing. Did you see that the, um, the situation on the offensive line now with John going down as well? Will that impact your decision on who to start at quarterback? It could. Um, you know, I think um, the most important thing, we just want to keep our quarterbacks upright, you know, and, and safe and out of harm's way. Um, you know, so it could, you know, but at the same time, I think we're going to play whoever we think gives us the best chance to win, you know, who's uh, ready to play and who we think can go out there and compete and give us, give us an opportunity to get a victory. You guys are still showing fight. Um, mm -hmm. And it'd be easy at this time of the year with the finish line in sight for players to kind of coast. Are you pretty confident that this group, especially 
as many young guys as you have is going to be as engaged as you need him to be over the last oh. four weeks? Oh, yeah. I, I would. I, there's no other way to do it. And I don't think it's just because of the young guys. I think the veteran guys are playing harder. And I think the more the veteran guys play hard, the more the young guys will follow their lead. You know, so um, that's just the way we're going to do it. You know, um, you said it. I think a lot of people probably wouldn't finish that way. You know, but we're not going to do I, I'm not going to allow that. You know, we have to continue to get better and work and, and do the things necessary. I mean, hopefully, as we move into the future, this will be the time of the year where it's truly winning time, you know, where you start fighting for opportunities to, to earn, you know, a 17th game. So uh, it's something I've talked to our team about. And so we got to learn through this experience how to do that. <coughs> a lot more snaps yesterday than usual. What have you seen? Richard maybe to get a lot more snaps. What have you seen from him patience-wise and, and how he's developed? Oh, he's been very patient. You know, he hasn't played as much, I'm sure, as he would like to because he probably sees two other rookies that have played a lot. You know, Ricardo had been playing a lot, and then um, obviously Corey's back and been playing a lot. So I think those guys like to get out there as well. But he did yesterday because I thought it was, you know, a good opportunity for him to get out there and, and see what he has. And he did a good job, you know. Again, take nothing away from Hawk. Hawk is one of our leaders and one of the best players on our offensive football team and tough as nails. And we still look to him for all of that that he brings to our offense. But we just wanted to give Rashard, you know, some opportunities to go out there because he hadn't played much and he deserves to, to show what he has. Two more? I'm sorry? I think John has been <coughs> one of the most valuable members of our line. Um, anytime you have a guy that can play guard and start a guard for us, but could play center like that, you know, which he's had to do several times this year and we didn't miss a beat, um, that's a huge loss for us, you know. So I, I think he's had a, a really good season, um, but, but probably if you ask John, he would say it's not where he wants to be. But um, he's, a, he's a member of our team, and i um, looking forward to getting him back as soon as we can. Right, no, he had the uh, surgery on his thumb, which was already scheduled for during the bye, you know, just going there and – uh, clean some things up, and so he'll be back out tomorrow. He's he's up and going. Playing from a two-yard line when you had the three tight ends, one side and the two receivers. Is that a play you've had success with in the past? Oh, absolutely. I think it should have had success the other day. You know, we just uh, again. I mean, we're there's things that we're going to grow as an offensive football team. You know, but um, we didn't get it in, so we just got to go find a way to do it better. I think because they're starting to slow teams down, you know, I think they're starting to make plays on the ball. We're getting our hands on the ball more, even though we need to get some turnovers here. But we're starting to touch the ball and we're slowing teams down and understanding, you know, that the team's really good players. We've got to slow them down even more, you know. Uh, obviously, Beckham had a good game when you scored two touchdowns. We don't want that to happen. But I think overall, I thought we kept it, kept them in check you know, for the most part, because they've been a pretty good offensive football team. Should Joe Aiden have had help on that uh, one Beckham touchdown? The, the, one, the one he ran across the field? Yeah. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a mad coverage, and, you know, they, they're running their, their plays to get guys free. It's not so much about help. It's about being in position. And, and again, you're talking about a great player in, this, in the National Football League that made a, a great play. So um, those things are going to happen. You know, that, that's NFL football. You know, they got guys that can make plays, too. And it wasn't so much about help, you about a guy just making a play. Yeah, because he's getting checked. Okay. Yes. That's yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. And, uh, you know, when you, I, I know you, you talk about in the past few weeks 39 points in, in four games. Do you look at it and think, hey, I have some hope that this guy can, can kind of jumpstart? our offense doing, doing some things a little differently than some of the other quarterbacks? Well, because until we make the determination who's going to play quarterback, you know, it's hard to say. I think, um, do we need to score more points? Yes, we do. You know, that's the name of the game. you got to have one more point than the other team, and we haven't been able to do that. So um, we got to find a way to get the ball in the end zone better than what we have. And, and if somebody can do that better, then we're going we're gonna to play them, you know. Um, but I think it's still early to make a decision about, you know, if Robert could do that. He's been, he hadn't played football now in a while, 
you know, let's, let's be honest. And um, I mean, I'm sure, you know, you got to get the rust off a little bit, you know, but uh, hopefully um, uh, we'll see where he is, you know, and if they clear him for contact, then we'll, we'll know more, you know, as we move forward. All right, last one. You showed some genuine, understandable emotion after the game mm-hmm. yesterday. Did you hear from anybody today around, you know, colleagues oh. or friends about <laughs> yeah. how to keep your head up? Or oh, anything? yeah, too many texts. You know, I've had to delete them, you know. <laughs> I had to delete a lot of them. Oh, just because it's just, that's part of it. You know, I don't, I mean, I, it is what it is. I am what I am. What you guys see of me is what you're going to get. You know, I'm not a phony and I'm human like everybody else. So that's just part of it. And you might see more than that over the course of time here. That's just, that's just the way it goes. But it'll all be classy and respectful uh, of everybody. And again, um, like I said uh, yesterday, I apologize for being late. And uh, thank you for hanging in there with me. And um, look forward to seeing you guys, what, a couple days? Oh, dang. Okay. I thought, I thought I was done. You guys have a good evening.